All right, guys, and welcome to my final video of this Deadman Mode tournament. I am already very happy with what we've done this week. We set out with one goal to PK, and we PK'd over 50 mil this tournament from all other clans, and we did an amazing job, provided some amazing content for you guys, and you guys really seem to enjoy it. We also hit 50,000 subscribers. But there was one small issue with that. Me killing everybody, me PKing all that money, has made me a target for every single clan because I've PK'd every single, like I PK'd a member from every clan easily for some pretty significant loot. So I'm now a target for everyone. They've also obviously seen my videos. They've seen that I had a DFS, a Malediction Ward, pretty much max gear, everything like that. So I'm a big target. So for that reason, I've decided to give most of the big ticket uh, items that we didn't have spare of to other members in my team who have a better chance of making it to the 1v1s, have a better chance of winning because they're not such a big target of multi. I, however, still have some pretty decent gear. I still have arms. I still have the Vesta Longsword, which is the main thing that we can use in the 1v1s if we make it there to try and get ourselves some loot. So this is the gear we're going with. We are completely maxed now, 99 everything, 70 prayer, no piety, unfortunately. It was capped until the very end. But this is the gear we're going with. We're going with the team. Let's see if we can make the 1v1s and get any further. I honestly don't think we'll make it, but if we do, we could try. All right, so my final area was GDZ, and basically there were two big alliances who were going to be fighting here. There was one full of Fools, Weed Blazers, and GG who had about 175 people, and then there was an alliance of Tata, EX, uh, DL, and like Lit who just joined for the final, uh, who had around 200 people. So we were up a little bit, and uh, Fools and Weed Blazers and their squad were already set up at the GDZ, defending it, waiting for us to rush. So first we went up to Newgate and uh, killed any White Dot stragglers, and this is when I realized there were people uh, who were hiding within our team capes trying to BS me because I started getting Javelin spec and started to getting hit, so I knew that when the fight actually started I would be in trouble. Alright, so I was only getting hit by a couple people in our team capes, and our team actually decided to rush over and try and get on top of them at GEZ. They were defended really well, and they caught us in some massive clumps to start us off with. They were really well prepared for uh, fighting a little bit uh, outnumbered, and having a good defensive position where if anybody ran into them, they could just kill them really easily, and they caught a lot of us in clumps. Here you can see I'm trying to blood barrage, because even when I'm running away from uh, GEZ, I'm still getting bolted and like javelined a little bit by people uh, who they sent in my team cape to try and like camp me down so I keep coming east and I try to figure out who's hitting me now at this point the clan that was defending GDZ had a very good defensive position held up and the callers for our team actually called for us to push on top of them but as you can see we just got caught in more clumps and there are people all the way back far east who decided they didn't want to push they wanted to play it safe and stay alive which in turn screwed all of us because half of us died and half of us didn't overall I pushed way further than I should have because I was just listening to the calls, I was doing what I was being told, honestly. Here you can see I ran a little bit more west because I thought I wouldn't get focused there, but unfortunately, they even had more people there, so they uh, they caught a freeze on me there, and by that point, it was pretty much over. I was tanking my best, sipping my brews, but I was already a big target, and I just handed myself over them on a silver platter. My fault, really, but I feel like even if I did manage to get east and tanked, I still probably would have ended up dying before the final 256, because I was just getting camped everywhere I go. And I did run east, I thought I, I might have been able to make it, I got 2 HP'd there. I was ke kept drinking my brews, but they just chased me down and I did end up falling. So yeah, unfortunately we did not make the 1v1s, we did end up falling. But honestly, it might have been a blessing that we died in the way we did. We died a normal death, because what I'm about to show you is what happened to people once it hit the 1v1 stage. I'm at 121, it's all in the southeast. I'm at Abdullah, Abdullah, level, level 117 in the right. Northeast corner, northeast corner, northeast corner, northeast corner. Keep going, guys, keep going. Northeast corner. Hit a door in the northeast corner. <laughs> keep going, guys, keep going. Ha! Ha! Nice. Ah! What? How did I all die? That, that's glitched. Nah, that one, what was. Wait, what? We just all died. What? We just all oh died. Oh my god. Put in the 1v1. What? So another dead man tournament, another glitch. The peop all the people from Falador who got sent into the 1v1s got instantly killed, and all the people at GDZ got uh, the game got paused. So the, uh, even the people who didn't die, as soon as as soon as the game got resumed, the people that were left got instantly killed by the other clan. So half of the people who were meant to be in the 1v1s got killed, and people at GDZ who uh, didn't really have a chance because the game got paused. So another glitch on Deadman Mode Tournament. This is why I never play for the final hour, because even if I don't get sniped or camped by another team, or by people who are out to get me, there's always a chance something's going to happen with the actual tournament, and it's not going to let me go in the 1v1s. Who's to say that even if I didn't die in multi there, that I would have I would have uh, made it into the 1v1s and got instant killed, or the game would have paused and when it resumed, 
the enemy team would have insta killed me that's why my goal every single tournament is to pk and provide you guys with the best content because let's face it there's always fuck ups with the tournament but pking it's constant it's very nice to watch and i hope you guys have enjoyed all my pking videos this tournament so yeah that's it for me from this tournament guys i hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos i've pumped out for you guys i'm sorry we didn't do better in the 1v1s but as you can see it was a fuck up anyway i'm honestly not even watching the stream anymore i don't know what's going on i don't know if they're carrying on with it and i don't know who's winning but I had fun PKing the t in the tournament. I hope you guys had fun watching it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and stay tuned for some of my seasonal content. See you guys.